All right, guys, what's up and welcome. Um, I've decided that I'm just going to... I'm throwing in the towel on streaming to YouTube because it's just, it's not working out. So we're just, we're not going to do it anymore. I tried again today and I'm just, I'm having more and more problems. So we're going to go ahead and I wanted to av avoid recording this because, you know, I want to do at least do this last stream to explain the issues that I'm having, but I'm not going to be able to do that. So, so I'm going to go ahead and record this and we'll, we'll go from there. That means it's going to be a day late and I apologize for that, but got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to record this one. I'm going to finish harvesting these fields here. We're going to harvest this one and we might get started on another one and I'll, I'll probably make this video a little longer than usual just because of the aggravation of this whole streaming thing I'm trying to do. So what I'm going to be doing from here on out is my, my regular YouTube content I'm going to continue to, to produce. I'm going to continue to attempt to grow the, the channel. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to attempt to stream to YouTube anymore. It's just too many problems. Um, I, I will not quit streaming. I will continue to stream to Twitch. Um, but yeah, that, so, so, so that's what it is. Uh, I apologize. I'd really love to be talking to you guys live right now. But we can't do that. Because the uh, powers that be are just not going to allow us. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I had some major issues. I checked my internet, and I, I checked it, and I rechecked it, and it's not my internet. But I was streaming at like 51 kilobytes when I was just trying a few minutes ago. So it's not just not going to work. I, I, I can't do it. Um, my internet was working fine. My network was working fine. But YouTube was just shitting itself and not, I don't know. So, it is what it is, that's why it's late, and in fact, I'm going to go and delete that stream right now, just because it was ridiculous. So we're back to recording on YouTube, which was, I mean, it's, that's what the platform was made to do, so we may as well just do it. Um, hopefully quality won't be too terrible, because I still have my stream settings in place. If it is, I apologize. Um, we'll get it fixed. You just have to... You just gotta bear with me a little bit here. And that would be greatly appreciated. We'll be back to the good old stuff next week. I might put out some extra videos on the channel this week just as a sorry for the trouble and thank you for the patience sort of thing, but I'm not sure. Um... We'll have to wait and see, but... Anyway, that being said, we're going to finish this potato field today. We will be done with it on this video. We may start other fields. We, you know, it just, it depends on where we're at when we finish. Just depends on where we're at. I think I'm actually going to let's see if I could do this. Let's see if it'll allow me to change the quality while I'm still recording. That'll be Um yes, it, it appeared to. I mean, you guys let me know how it looks but it appeared to let me I mean it dumped my frames there for a second but it it appeared to let me do it so hopefully the the quality difference on your end is amazing if it's not I apologize but like I said we'll get there we'll get there 
almost getting to the point. We've got 70% full in our harvester, so we're almost getting to the point where we got to dump it. Now that this decision's been made, I have to figure out what to do as far as a schedule goes on the on the Twitch channel for, for live streaming. I mean, I'd like to say every Saturday, but I don't want to commit to that because I'd like to do it more than that, but we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I don't, I, I definitely don't want, I want to move up in the streaming game, but at the same time, not at the downfall of, of the YouTube channel. So it'll have to be a happy medium somewhere. That's why I'm thinking maybe once a week, maybe every Saturday might not be a terrible idea because then it won't, it kind of won't cut in. It won't cut into things on on YouTube, but we'll have to see. I've kind of I've kind of gotten out of the mix in the last week and a half or two weeks of, of attempting this streaming stuff. So again, I apologize um, for the trouble. Oh, I still have that. God, I keep forgetting to turn off crop destruction. Um, anyway, I apologize for the trouble, and I appreciate your patience. Like I've said million times before you're probably tired of hearing it to be honest oh and I hit my trailer that's gonna leave a mark now we just wait to unload luckily the potatoes unload pretty quick it's not not that long of a wait not like any of the other fruits or vegetables And we're done. We will be finished with this field in no time. I'm going to have to remember before I go to bed tonight to actually edit and upload, you know, well... I can't edit. It's going to take a while to, to edit this, cause especially because it's going to be longer. But um, I've got to edit and render it. And then tomorrow morning when I get up, I need to remember to upload it. So that way tomorrow around release time, which if you're unaware is 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Each day that I have a release, that's when it comes out. Um... So while we're at it, uh, follow me ev everywhere, um, Jaybird Gaming, uh, Jaybird Gaming on Facebook, um, jaybird.us, all spelled out, J-A-Y-B-I-R-D-D-O-T-U-S on Twitch, if you're interested in seeing the live streams, and subscribe if you haven't already, share it with your friends if this is something you like. Um, what do you guys think about putting the camera on can I do that like right here can I turn the camera on like like right now uh, let's see if I can do that oh look at that I can that's awesome so what do you guys think about having this camera on hello um, during the recorded videos I was doing this during the stream We'll shut it off now because I don't know if you guys are even going to like it. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Maybe that's something we can add to the to the regular videos. I'm definitely forward if you guys are.
Oh, I know this harvesting is kind of a drag, but it's got to be done. It's just, it's got to be done. And this is going to be a rough, this is going to be a rough few videos because basically everything you see out there, we need to harvest. And I'm, I really want to be in the mode of doing it manually instead of just hiring a worker or something, kind of the, you know, the cheap way out about it. Gosh, it's so upsetting that I couldn't stream this video today. I would have much rather done it that way. Yeah, see, I'm doing on my laptop, I'm doing a speed test, and I'm using my Wi-Fi, my in-home Wi-Fi here, which is actually a little less responsive. I got a 9 millisecond ping, 20.66 meg download, and 5.27 meg upload. And I'm trying to stream in 480p and it won't work, you know, so that's, that's where the frustration comes in there. It's also rather frustrating that this, this, this video is going to be coming out a day late now, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm over it for the most part. I'm over it. I'll be over it by the time you guys watch this. Trying to think of what we want to work on next. Should we do the corn or get started on all that? I mean, we kind of need some money. Do we have anything that we could sell to get some money? Oops. We've only got 9,000. We got 81,000 corn now. We probably ought to get started. Yeah, we probably ought to get started on the soybeans because we need to we need to start bringing in some moolah definitely need that. Because this $20,883 on a farm this size is not going to last us very long at all. So we'll start working on these fields you see off the side there after we finish this potato field. And life will be good. Well, you know something we need to also check is... Oh, see, our pigs need... We need to do something about our pigs. Gosh, we got a lot of pigs. Maybe we should sell some of the pigs and make some money. I gotta remember to turn that crop destruction mod off because that's that's kind of annoying to be honest with you. I mean, it's kind of cool because usually when you drive through a crop in real life, you destroy it. You just ruin the stuff you're running over. So, and maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll just have to keep in mind to quit running over my shit. Now I'm watching the tank, 97% now, 98, 99, and we stop. That way we don't destroy anything. I kind of really like this map, but I don't like how there's so few cell points. And it just seems like there's there's a few options for long-term play on this map. I 
you know, oh, there you go. Say, so you gonna unload harvester? We should be good for yeah, one more, one more go around, and we will be done with the potatoes. And I'm honestly not sure I'm going to replant potatoes in this field because, I mean, gosh, we got so many of them. I'm trying to remember where, where did I dump these the last video I did? Did I dump them over by the pigs? I think I, I think I remember dumping them by the pigs. So we'll have to go check that out. It's kind of nice, you know, working on these potatoes. We're, I mean, we're working on a crop that we usually don't work on, so it's it's kind of nice with that respect. It's not just the same old mundane soybeans day in and day out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love working with those soybeans. They they yield a lot of money. Um, Probably the, I mean, it, it's probably the easiest, quickest money in the game. It's, uh, you know, and everything being equal, like the potatoes yield far less money, but each crop yields far more product. So it's probably fairly equal. It just depends on how many trips you can take to the sell point. To, you know, I mean, if I planted, if I took this field and sold all the potatoes at their their height and price and then did the same thing with soybeans just in this one field and then carrots just in this one field in fact maybe we'll do a test on that I'm sure it would probably yield close to the same amount of money for each crop only potatoes we would be making 23 trips to the sell point to get that amount of money whereas soybeans we'd be making one and carrots or I'm sorry uh, corn would be, I don't know, three or four trips. So I like soybeans because it's like, it's one crop, it's one harvest, it's one trip, and bam, money. So that's another reason why I like working with the sheep so much, because the wool commands quite a high, high value in game. In fact, what are we at right now for wool? See now it's really low, ten thousand dollars, but that that can double, get up to twenty thousand. So I'm not worried about it. I I don't currently, with only a few sheep, I don't produce enough to really make a difference right now. And that kind of that kind of pains me because the businessman part of me, if you will, wants to go out with this next harvest and purchased 25,000 sheep so I can just start pumping the money into the business but you know I need operating capital as well I need to pay for fuel and all that stuff so I can't just go out and buy a whole bunch of sheep and I kind of like the fact that the, the whole idea you know what we did with this farm was we purchased two of everything and look at what we got now five cows 75 pigs and seven sheep so they've just bred all right we've got two of everything and they just bred to that size you know and that's, that's some pretty amazing stuff now i'm thinking one more pass maybe two on this field but i'm thinking i'm thinking one more and we'll be finished Something I just noticed. So, on OBS, I see that I'm recording, obviously, but I also have the option to start stream. I can I like record locally and stream to Twitch at the same time. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely have to look into that because that might be kind of awesome. 
I mean, it would be cool to spread the content over more than just one platform. I'll have to test that out tonight. So if you guys see some awkward streams tonight, well, from the time you'll be watching this, it'll be last night. So if you saw some awkward streams last night, now you know why. Well, we darn near filled up a harvester again. I did see a little patch that I missed right there. We'll pick up on the way over to the truck. We are officially done with the potato harvest and it only took us 21 and a half minutes on this video. So now we'll go park this harvester and we'll get you know get some of this equipment put away and get started on the soybean harvest. Hopefully I'm gonna have enough room in this truck for all of it. Yep, sweet. Okay. Get our harvester folded up and put away. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know this is not one of my more popular series. Uh, it doesn't get a whole ton of views comparatively. But, but I enjoy doing it, so, yeah. I'm not really sure if I should park the harvester down here. The way frame rates go in this game, they can kind of be kind of sketchy. Technically, we should be parking our harvester. We should be parking everything together. Alright, now let's see if we can tab through things. And um, we're going to need this guy over here for the soybean harvest. Go ahead and just leave it parked right there. And we may as well jump out and run over to the the truck. We're really not going to need the truck for the harvest. I mean, well, uh, you know what? Let's put the truck away for now, at least. tab over to our where we at where we at where we at there we are oh look at that 97 percent we almost filled our truck up let's go ahead and dump the truck we'll take it over to the pigs and get it dumped and then we'll get it back here and we can start our soybean harvest the soybean harvest is going to be a long one I'm I warn you guys, um, in fact the next few videos are probably going to have to be long ones to, to deal with the, the sheer amount. I mean everything you're seeing here to the right of us all needs to be harvested. So 
So it'll be interesting. It'll be very, very interesting. how many, I don't even remember how many potatoes we already have over here at the pigs. I'm sure this is where we dumped them off though, I mean, I honestly don't remember. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is it though. <clears throat> yep, there they are. Okay, sweet. unloaded and ready to harvest the soybeans. Oh, if we don't tip our truck over for crying out loud. want to try to hit the stream button now to see if I can record the stream at the same time but I don't want to mess this recording up so I'm not sure that's the smartest thing to do at the present moment tabbed right to our harvester. Awesome. Come on. Let me out the damn door. Better fill the tank up before we head out to the field. That'll be embarrassing to run out of gas out there. Great demand at the spinnery for wool. Does that mean wool went up? Yeah, see, we're up to 14,000 now. We were at 10,000 earlier, remember? Alright, let's hit it. Time to start the soybean harvest. Like I said, this one's going to be a long one. And I obviously we're not going to finish the soybean harvest on this video. It's probably going to stretch through a couple, two or three videos maybe, but we'll get it started here. And then we'll uh, see where we have to go from there. Soybeans, soybeans.
So I'm thinking probably right now, since I'm so pressed to get this out a day late, I think it's probably a good place to end this video. What do you guys think? I think it's probably a good place to end this video. We've been recording for just over 30 minutes now. And I want to get it, make sure I get it edited. And even though it's going to be a day late, I want to get it edited and get it out. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks a million for watching and sticking around with me, everybody.